Jeff Curly Show will be talking to a true soul man, and that's spelled S-O-L-E. We'll be talking about his uh, shoe ministry next on The Jeff Curly Show. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is The Jeff Crilly Show. Well, we do a lot of nonprofit shows here at the Jeff Crilly Show, uh, but I can't think of a more uh, deserving candidate for this show than uh, James Sharps and Sharp Shoes. Uh, tell us about your nonprofit. Well, thanks for having me on the show, Jeff. It's an honor to be here. And Sharp Shoes is a 501c3, so we're a nonprofit with our whole mission that every child that needs a pair of shoes uh, gets a pair of our shoes. Which is so cool and so basic I mean yeah. people don't think about it but gosh if you don't have shoes right yeah you're in a world of hurt and you know something like a pair of shoes that you wear every single day you know you may have a pair of trousers shorts or shirt you may wash or wear once in a while but every day a lot of these kids uh, that we serve um, are in desperate need of shoes well let's go to a shoe cam or soul cam <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you kind of so kind of walk us through what are we looking at here? We're looking at a collection of shoes we just collected for some of my wonderful partners there, and these are typical what we're going to see out there in the marketplace there. Um, but a lot of these kids come from impoverished situations where they've never seen the light up shoes. Which when you deliver these shoes to these kids, I mean, then they're you know seeing Mickey or. Or if they're on a soccer team, like I've outfitted a whole soccer team that needed shoes because the teacher told me they showed up first day of class and they were going to do practice and they were all in flip-flops. She says, I can't work with that. Or, you know, you show up with these cool sketchers or the little flavored, uh, you know, shoes. They, they just light up. They yeah. like it. It's like Christmas early for them. That's awesome. Well, he is a sharp dresser, uh, pun intended, yeah. uh, and you can see the top half. I'm going to ask you to take off one of your shoes. He's making me go do this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, hold that up. shoe cam now, there. Now, if, if, the, if right. we break a lens or a camera because yeah. of this, I can't be All held right. responsible. There man, you those go, are some, man. Those are some awesome shoes. Aren't they cool? <laughs> yeah, it takes a real uh, man to wear these kind of shoes. Yes, it does. Yeah. Well, we, well, we found a, an amazing video on your website. Let's go ahead and roll that now. The mission of Sharp Shoes is pretty simple. We want to make sure every child that deserves a pair of shoes has them. And it all started when I grew up as a kid. I didn't have anything growing up. I didn't have any shoes myself. Somebody gifted that to me. And I just remember I felt like a million bucks. I felt like I was on top of the world. Somebody gave me something more than just a pair of shoes that gave me self-confidence. And that to me is the true mission of Sharp Shoes. It's just giving back to such a way that we instill and empower these kids to do their absolute best. And if the shoes is one component of that, man, I'm honored to be a part of that. That is so cool. You have a very successful real estate company, but I, I know giving back is so important to you. How long had you been thinking about Sharp Shoes? Well, it all started when I was six years old, Jeff. Uh, I grew up in Flint, Michigan. For any of those who uh, see the Netflix series Flint Town, know it's a little rough area. And a lot of folks that are without there, uh, my family grew up there. We uh, had just survived a house fire um, and we had nothing. And this was going into the year 1976, good bicentennial year for our country, but there was not gonna be a Christmas that year. Dad was really struggling, me and me. Mom was doing her best to keep four kids fed, if that makes sense. I have always say she's kind of the lady that would do the miracle of, I'll serve McElroy and cheese minus the cheese because she would just put whatever she could together, but take literally five loaves and five fish and make a meal out of it. But going into that Christmas, two days for Christmas, they had a 
knock on the door and it was this group of service guys the guys with the funny hats and the tassels the shriners had came and they brought in bag and bag of groceries a christmas tree presents for me and the kids all four of us kids got that but what was so cool jeff they gave us each a pair of new shoes that christmas first time i ever had a pair of new shoes i'd always had my cousin's hand-me-downs up to that point and uh i remember going to school after a christmas break I felt like a million bucks. I felt like I've actually got a pair of new shoes. And they were white Converse. I still remember to this day, but they're beautiful. And I wore the Dickens out of that. I never forgot. Fast forward 42 years later, Jeff. Okay, so I'm going to a gala, and it's a beautiful group here in town called City House. And it's 30th anniversary, and these wonderful ladies are giving their heart and soul. Um, they're taking in all these teenagers, and these runaways, and these bad situational you know kids out of cps and they're like we need shoes we need clothes and we need this and i i resonate with the shoes i said mm. i said that planted the seed and then below i'm like i'm sharp dressed i'm going to a network event and somebody sees me all dressed up and they're like james man you look sharp you have sharp shoes on and it connected the dots it was so wild jeff and i was like that's clever my last name is sharp I do have a fashion for shoes, as you saw, but also I said, I wonder if I could do something with shoes and give back, because I'm a successful real estate agent, sell a lot of houses, but I want to find my passion. I call mm -hmm. it my passion project. So that, that Christmas, and this is 2018, I decided, you know, I have a flavor for shoes. I actually have a few, but I could feature a different pair of shoes every day for the first 12 days of December, go to social media, and it will be my 12 days of shoes instead of the 12 days of Christmas. And so I got on Instagram and Facebook and social media, and I'd ask all my compadres. I said, hey, Facebook land, Instagram, vote. Do you think these are shoes worthy of being called sharp shoes? I'm gonna pick one to be the shoe of the year. But in the meantime, just why am I doing this? Because there's a bunch of kids who need shoes, like I needed shoes several years back. We collected enough to have 500 pairs that's cool. Isn't that cool? And what was so cool and why I brought the Mickeys today is one of my HVAC guys, he's an awesome gentleman, name's Jesse, he brought his son's gently used shoes. They were a pair of these Mickey Mouse. And he's like, I want to be the first to give you your pair of shoes for sharp shoes. That started a chain reaction, collected over 500 pairs, distributed them all the week before Christmas 2018. I'm lit up like a tree. Because when you give it out in slices, it comes back in loaves. Mm. I called my mom that night. I said, Mama, I just gave out 500 pairs of shoes. And it was an awesome feeling. And she was, I'm so proud of you, son. That was so awesome. I said, Mom, do you remember the Shriners? Do you remember when they came by that Christmas and brought us those shoes and trees and presents? She was, oh, my gosh, I totally forgot. I said, I never forgot, Mom. And I said, I want to continue to do this. And would you know that was the last conversation we had, Jeff? Oh, wow. Because that night she had a massive stroke. She collapsed in the house, and uh, we lost her five weeks later. Oh, wow. And it was a real tough stretch for me. And going into 2009, because I was the one handling her affairs, and I said, um, I'm going to take this to the next level. In memory of my mom, she was a nurse for 33 years. She'd give you the shirt off her back. She she died and she had 12 bucks in her pocket like she literally didn't have anything but she gave everything and so i said mom we're gonna make this happen and i raised five thousand plus pairs of shoes last year oh, wow. for 2019 and when i got to that level i said i gotta make this legit because people are thinking i'm raising this money to go buy extra shoes for me i'm like no 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 i'm good but there's all these kids and the more i put out there jeff there was more need that came up and i said you know what? I always want to say yes to a service group, charity, organization. And so now we've adopted dozens and dozens of schools, churches, homeless shelters, teenage shelters, women's battery shelter, wherever. I got a group there in, you know, overseas now who's heard our message through social media wow. and reached out to me just today. said, hey, we got these couple hundred kids. Can you spare some shoes? I said, absolutely. Always say yes. I love it. We've got some pictures we want to share, and I want you to kind of narrate them for us. What are we looking at? This is that special group. So right there in the corner is Jesse, who gave us the very first pair. But this is a group that 
really kind of sponsored me to do sharp shoes so when i went to this network group it's you know my favorite plumber electrician painter contractors title mortgage and all this stuff we run a business group but when i show up with the fancy shoes they're the ones that kind of inspired me they're like yeah you got sharp shoes on but when i told my my premise about starting this foundation and would they help support it they were the ones who said we'll gladly do it and they brought new pairs of shoes so this was a group I just, I owe a debt of gratitude. Some of them actually volunteer with me to actually keep the message going, create a website for me and, and That's awesome. move it today. Um, do we have another picture? Yeah, this is uh, one we just did a couple weeks ago. This is an early childhood. These are all pre-kindergarten, four or five year olds, you know, mm -hmm. three or four year olds. And these are so precious, these kids there. But there, a lot of them are bust in from impoverished areas of our Metroplex. and so they don't have monies for clothes and for food and necessarily shoes. So this is a, a teacher who, who reached out to us through our network, said I have a bunch of kids who've come after this, go back in session and face-to-face -face learning and that need shoes desperately. And I said, how many you need? And we, we delivered them. So wow. that was so cool. Well, it, it struck me as you were telling that your story that um, you are now becoming that person in a child's life and and it, the gift keeps giving and, and absolutely so this this ministry that you created really could live on for generations we never know i didn't know 42 years ago that i was going to impact you know get impacted by a service one time i never met those guys never saw them again but their message and they're like hey we want to help this family in need regardless we don't know them, but just pay it forward kind of thing it just it really look at it now you know, and my goal, Jeff, is is so impacted because I just recently saw at the beginning of the year, uh, Nick Voyacek, yeah, man with yeah, no yeah. arms, no limit, you know, no legs, no limits. And when he was talking our his message, he says, "I want you to think big, okay? Don't well, keep it small. Think it big. You know, there's look at me. I'm walking and talking and, and get around and and you know, I'm married and I have kids and stuff. And I said, "All right, Nick, I know what I'm going to do with this mission." I want to raise a million pairs of shoes because mm. there's that much need out there. In fact, I challenge you guys this. Anytime you see a little donation tub or bin or something, you always will see donate clothes and guess what's always underneath it? Donate shoes. Try to find one without it. The shoe need is so great and there's not enough to go around. Um, so what do you need now? Do you need donations? Do you need people to hop on the bus? Absolutely. There's plenty of room on this bus. We always have room for more. In fact, we just did an event with some of my favorite clients, and they brought 125 pairs of shoes on Saturday to our office. We have a location in Plano that we collect shoes, and it's in Lakeside Commons there. But also, we have a website, sharpshoes.org. So anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world, people can donate day or night, or they can also nominate a family. Mm -hmm. If you know a family or service group that needs shoes, just put us a message through. We'll jump on it. That's how this group found me on through Facebook. We have a Facebook page, but I'm really desperate for one thing. I'm hoping the show will get me to is guess what? When I'm buying you know, 5,000 pairs of shoes, I'm going on a retail level and I'm clearing out a lot of local stores and I can't always get the quantity and the sizing right, I need. Right. So I'm needing shoe manufacturers. I need mm. wholesalers of shoes. Somebody who has a contact with a shoe manufacturer. That'd God. be an amazing deal to help us out. That's awesome. We're gonna put up a couple of websites. Uh, first, your your for profit, the uh, sharprealestategroup.com website. The engine that makes it all work. That's it, that's yeah. it. And then uh, sharpshoes.org is your nonprofit. Oh, that's the first pair. That's the pair I wore, Jeff, when I went to the network event. No I call kidding. those my Hugh Hefners. <laughs> yeah, I they love this awesome pair. They're so cool. Well, I I can't thank you enough for doing the Lord's work. You you're just an inspiration. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks for having me. You bet. And that's it for now. We'll see you next time.